We're now in the uh, Amsterdam airport waiting to go to Dharan. Getting towards 10 o'clock in the morning on the 14th of December. Take that back, 15th of December. Grandma's getting ready to go see her grandchildren. Getting excited. Carter. Well, here we are in Saudi Arabia. First morning here. And what are you guys doing? We're having our morning coffee and tea and having our hot tub. <laughs> Relaxing. There's right, there's your... Yeah. There's the teacups. And who am I can who do I got my camera on? Who said bathing beauty there? Good name. Hi grandpa. Hi grandpa. Hi Luke. Yeah, you're gonna have to come join us, Dad. It's too cold. Yeah. Oh, it's warm in here, but oh you'll love it. It's about what about 65 degrees, I suppose. <laughs> Does that water swirl around like that? Oh, this is really nice. Just no. put, put an extra cheese right there. Here's more chocolate. You see? Here's open chocolate here. Uh oh, right camera, didn't he? Just ignore me. Tell them what you did for 10 minutes. You still remember how those moves that you did? House, Luke. Yep. It's a lovely home. There's your garage, and then... This, what house is that? Who lives in that house? Yeah. Um, it's steep. Okay. Who lives? Who else lives on your street here? Well, you know, Marissa lives on it. Who? Marissa. Marissa. Okay. And then we got some more houses. And Michael used to live there, but now he, now he's not. He's not living there anymore. His name. Nope. Do you know what that is? Today's in your stroller. You ready to go out now today? Go for a walk this morning? Who's that coming out the door? Here comes Grandma. Hey, wait, I think you guys might need some food. Jack, I'm going to take a jacket because if you go to the beach and it gets cold, you'll be glad. No! Here, I'll just throw a light one in. Okay? Sorry, I'm going to walk for a little bit. Okay. We're going to go walking. Are we, we going to go in the car? No. Daddy! But Dad's taking... First, for you three, if you want to come to the beach and let the kids run and sit down. Maybe later. Okay, David's getting ready to go surfing this morning. What's all this equipment you got, David? Oh, I got some sails. Some what? He's got his own trailer, he hooked behind the car, and got his surfboard up on top there, and that's, the, that's your sails you're putting in now? I'm putting in some smaller sails because the wind seems pretty good today. Small? Oh, I see. So you don't need as big a sail to... Well, stronger the wind, the smaller the sail. So it might be a four or five day. 
So how, how many miles an hour can you go on that sailboard this morning with this wind? I'll go about 20, 25 miles an hour. Will the wind, will the water be rough or pretty smooth? Uh, well, if it's windy, it'll be a little rough. Uh -huh. A couple of weeks ago, I went offshore and nice five foot swells. So wow. Skiing on the water. Can we see you ski this morning? Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and get you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a great day. It's a good, it's not too much wind. It's never too much. It's never too much. Never too much. <laughs> Ray, Ray and I went uh, windsurfing in 50 mile an hour winds last year. Oh boy. I'm going to try I marvel out how thin and trim this guy is. From He says it's, it's from, okay, it's from sail surfing. Well, we Weigh 155 pounds. I think. Hard as a rock. I thought we'd go to the holiday team. Why don't we walk to school? We're going to walk a while. Okay. Oh, why? Look like your lunch. Okay. Yeah. I'll come back for lunch. 1 1 30. We'll okay. be ready. And then we'll go out. Okay. Have fun, Dave. Okay. She works at the nursery. And uh, she and her mother. Yeah, Rhonda, it's, I can see where it's kind of tough living. You just don't have the selection of bananas. And look at this. Not right now. I don't care if it's right. You guys have to buy your own. You've been to an ostrich farm? Yeah, and, and there are these big eggs. Oh. They have these big eggs that do it together. Big eggs? They're, the ostrich eggs are like that. Yeah, they're real big. Well, I got That's not real big. This is real big. Yeah, like that. I have an ostrich egg like that. I can carry it home. I the shelf. I can. I can carry too many other things. We <laughs> still have my whole everything here. <laughs> surfing you wouldn't have that trailer. It's, uh, uh, I'm glad it helped out. <laughs> 
some off your neck. Right, Dave? Yep. Look at this boomerang. Look at the bottom of the town. Look at this boomerang. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I got it, David. Here we go. The boomerang. <laughs> Kindergarten teacher. Oh, okay. I have a boomerang. It's a boomerang. It's a boomerang. Here you go. I think that's how it's done. <laughs> 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 she brought my little sunglasses along. So oh, she's turning around when she took this off. Where did I put it here? Do get down. Oh, that's not good. Speak. Okay, this is our school, Jabail International. This side is the elementary wing we're going to go into. There he is. Oh, great. Hey, Jeremy. The ladies in the nursery here. A couple of them are here now, all of them. These are, this is one of the ladies. She lives down on Street for Myself. Remember it? We're on our way down the hall to uh, David's room and to my room. This is um, the whole way to elementary. The, the, have you? Well, this is my classroom. It says, uh, welcome to Mrs. Hughley's second grade. Mr. Ralph, I've always been my door, my motto, my always had this sign. It's because of Africa. Oh, okay. Got and these are my students. students you have in your class? Ta take us around your room and tell us what's going on here. Okay. Well, you ready? Yep. Okay. Well, this is my classroom. I have 19 students. They work in small table teams. They each have they, we get, they give themselves names and they have a little cheer and kind of work together. Um, my desk, all my things, grading, as you, you see, I've got work to do. Uh, my, the, we have a, this is my reading corner. Uh, I'm lucky to have a big, soft, comfortable chair. Kids do calendar back here. It's a special math calendar that they do. We have a nice little library here. Uh -huh. so yeah. Yeah. And I check out books. I can check 125 books or something out in my name. So I always have books. Oh. They check them out. This is my library system. They check out and check in books. They can, uh, and then they come here. Right. And they got books with right, right. Then this is my reading pizza with the pizzazz oh. back in reading. And it's full almost, except for a couple. And we're going to have a pizza party after vacation. I like your little corner one. You had a nice. We're going to have a pizza party! Yeah, we're going to do that because uh, all the children had to read 20 or more books. And then we had to fill this up before we could have a pizza party. I have a reading theme in each quarter. And this quarter was the reading theme. Last quarter we had the theme, Get in the Reading Mood, and we had cows. So what are you going to have in January now? Uh, yeah, when, well, I have two weeks of school, then report cards, and the new quarter begins. So I'm going to have an African safari oh, up here. Oh, you always yeah. have to do But uh, I'm going to do an African unit, so that'll fit. Then I have a star. One well, of the students we interview, and he puts his favorite things up here. About star, yeah. superstar of the yeah. week. This little boy, they only had about three little pictures. How do they get uh, They each get a turn. They oh. just take turns, and uh, they bring their things in. This little, this is a little Indian boy. He only had a couple pictures. Look at that big Yeah, that nice? Who's the star of the week? Denver was. And they put their favorite things here. The room's a little upside down because we had our party and I haven't cleaned up anything. <laughs> These are apple creatures. They wrote some apple creature stories and they made little people. Those are the holly men. I forgot to send some of the Christmas things home. Those are supposed to go home. And the poinsettias and the reindeer. This is for New Year. This is like ring in the New Year. So they made them right before. So these will stay up all of January. There's my rule. I have kind of a rule. Card system and they have to pull cards when they don't listen. And then certain things happen when they get to the colors. They have time out. And then uh, just different things around the room that we're doing. What am I focusing on now? What right is over that? Here? Yeah, this oh. is my, some of my centers. Centers? What's the yeah. center? Oh, activities that children do when they're finished. One of them is um, math. I have tiles. They figure out yellow. problems. What happened if you lose the yellow one? If you get a yellow, you'll have a warning, just a reminder. And then I have a math speed tap box here. And all my math ex manipulatives are here. So they finish their assignment, they, they come They come do some they of these centers. Here. I have uh, three reading kits. Who's this, Mommy? Three reading kits here. Mom, who's kits that? Here. So the kids Mom, who is that? Shh, it's 
it's Aaron. Aaron? Okay, yeah, he was it. shouting in class like you're doing. It's the they have, oh, my, my tape recorder. Uh, they have a book that go on the story that they're listening to. I mean, they take a book out. And I have the, I, well, I usually put a book out and then I have it ready and they hook it up into, oh. the, into the tape recorder and then they listen to the music. So I have a tape recorder. This is all my work area. Look what um, I'm doing, Grandma. And I put uh, okay. soft music on and the, when the kids are having working, quiet working time. Does it help to enhance their... I uh, think it relaxes them. I think they, uh -huh. they're quieter. They listen better. What kind of music? So I play classical kinds of... I use the harp tape, Patrick Ball tape, and a lot of different classical music that David violin and guitar and... A romantic tape, it's called. It's a Spanish that's, music. That's and great. then I have music that the kids, songs that go with our music, uh, with our uh, program. There are songs for every unit we do in reading. So I I play at lunch. After lunch, we have story time, and I play music, and the kids and we all sing. Do you have a music teacher, too, or yes. do you all teach your own music? No, we have a music teacher okay. and an Arabic teacher. Uh, let's see. Who's Art your Arabic and teacher? And and, uh, Do they all learn the Arabic language? They learn, yeah. Mm -hmm. They learn numbers Who? and greetings and mm -hmm. things like that. It's not, you know, they can Who's the Arabic teacher? I haven't cleaned anything up. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. <laughs> but I have different things up here. Well, they broke for, they broke for Christmas vacation, yeah. didn't they? And yeah. they yeah. Then you had to get ready for your in-laws. Right, in right. <laughs> new one to change. I just got a new boy. But it goes Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The, ch the children share. So the green people share on Saturdays and the blue on Mondays. Share on Mondays. what? Well, we, there's a theme per week. And I have it for the whole year and I set it home. And so December, the first week of December, they had to share a poem. The second week of December, they had to share a newspaper article. And last week, they had to share a t-shirt. In January, the first week, they have like a paper or a riddle. Name it. A nursery rhyme or something from another country. Two, eight, one. They just, it's all the in front of how to be in front of a group and then they listen to each other the questions they learn how to give good questions mm -hmm. at first they they say dumb things like they say do you like it well you don't bring it if you don't like it but they don't figure that out right away that's one question gone so they only two you know <laughs> you kind of guide them yes yeah. and they have to go up there and Kim uh, kimberly's first on saturday so she says uh, this week we're sharing about a hat this is my, the hat I brought. It's my favorite hat because, and then she tells about it. Then when she's done, she says, Usman, do you have something to share? And then he comes up. They have to introduce each other. And we do it all year long, and it's good practice. And they have a poem they learn. I got some ideas from Galilee and other people. And every month they have one or two poems they have to memorize, and then they have to stand up and say it for the class. So those, those are things that happen all the time. Mm -hmm. And that we, sounds like we, fun. We just, uh, we just uh, wrote to her. We talked to her on the telephone last year. It was really exciting. So I wrote, she wrote me several letters. This year I got one. So I wrote, had the kids all write to her. And you're reading her books. Yeah, I read, we read all of a whole pile of her books. She lives in London. She's from the States originally. Her ancestry. Dine, wouldn't you like to be in your mother's second grade class? Okay. Wouldn't you like to be in your mother's second grade class? Yeah. I wrote to her, I wrote to her, mm -hmm. like sent back to her publisher because we went to buy some of her books and have, I asked her if she wanted to tell me. Tell us what this is, Robin. This is my discipline program. It's called a certain discipline. I have all the kid children's names up here and they all have cards and they all start with a blue, which is fine. And then if they break one of the, some of the rules, if they forget to raise their hand, or they do something rude, or they don't follow directions. I, I tell them to pull a card. Okay, so come up and pull a card and put it in the tray. And that is a warning. And nothing happens. It just reminds them to be careful. If they get in trouble again, then they pull another card. And that means red. That means that they have a five-minute timeout. So at recess, they well, have to what does yellow mean? Just a warning. Just be caution. And then they put their head down at the little desk in the corner for five minutes. And when my timer rings, they can go outside. If they get another one, they have a 10-minute timeout, and they have to put their head down for 10 minutes. But then if they get another one, they get to brown. Nobody's ever gotten that. Then when we go to the office, they have to call their mom and dad, and they talk to their parents, and then I talk to their parents. And if they get a black, they go to the principal. Now, is this for one week, for one day? Or one day. One day. Daily. So every day they put, start with a blue again? Yeah, every day. They get, you know, mm -hmm. give them a chance. And I have a couple of children that if I... 
that I had kind of bend a little with because if I didn't, they'd be up here. They'd be out of the room all the time. I have a couple kids that are just under their desk and out of their chair and jack in the boxes and they can't help themselves. So I kind of try, you know, the mothering pat them on the back and whisper in their ear and, you know, it's like kids that need a lot of help. And he tried to tell us that we need to uh, relax a little because I guess he thought that we were really, he knew that we were feeling stressed by it all, especially because last year the second grade at Jubail had the highest test scores in the whole district. Jabail school? Yeah, and the second grade oh, wow. had the best of anybody. So that was a so lot of pressure. So that's at the that's at the standard. That, for you. that I mean, it, I had some good children. You have to have good students to get some good scores. But, and also, the children did a lot of reading things, and I prepared them for the test because I taught them how to take a test. Like several weeks before the test, I or we organized activity sheets where they filled in the dots and we talked about what kinds of things they would have on the test. And then I learned from Faye, you know, many things over the years when I taught with her in Tomahawk. So what I did is all the things I learned, I gave the children cards to marker where they're at in the test. And I walk around all, so we test for a week, and I walk around, I never sit down, I stand behind children, I pat them on the back and I make sure they're on the right place and they're not jumping five and missing spaces. And when they look like they're getting tired, I'm, you can do it, you're doing great, and that kind of thing. And, and I bring treats, and I put pretzels or animal crackers or something on their desks. And then Faye taught me, you know, like every now and then when they look droopy, I say, oh, we need a thinking pill. And I give everybody a red hot. And I don't know, I, I, I do think some of those things have a little bit to do with it. <laughs> but I'm sure but they my do. principal was really proud. And he didn't go around touting the whole world, but they had the psychologist from the um, Ron from head, our district office come, and he explained the test to everybody. And he put this big thing up on, and it showed all the way they did. And he just said something about, yeah, Jubail second grade and their reading scores and how high all this was. And I didn't, you know, I just thought, oh, they did really well at our school. But then the counselor said to me, no, Rhonda, that's not what he said. He said they did the best of any other school in the district. And I was like, so then all year I've been feeling like, oh, my gosh, if I don't do well this year, you know, it's like, oh, you know, it just would be, I had to keep it up. And my principal came by to see me because I have a group of students who are very low. They really should be in first grade. They shouldn't be in second grade. They can't read. And um, so I feel a lot of, yeah, of concern and worry about these little kids. And so well, now that you, you can't really compare to last year. Then you have to compare to what they did yeah. last year. And what that what I yes. Yeah. Do you and have the same of, students this year? No, 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 it's different students. I mean, uh, were the I mean, were these students in the same school last year, or yes. are okay? But you know, ch you know, children in the summer when they're not in school especially if they struggled the year before, can lose a quite a years. few months of growth if they're not, they don't continue to read and practice their math and facts and that sort of thing. If they don't do anything, then it's like they regress. So at the beginning of the year, you work to try to get back where you were, especially. And also, there are so many things, factors to consider when you think of retention. Hey! 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what am I doing to my room? That's okay. Hey, this is And look what I made. And this is Wynn. Hey, look what I made. 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 Hey, look what Hey guys, no, we're not stopping. We're not stopping. We're going. Huh? We're going? Are we going? Yeah. Aren't we going to, aren't you going to take us around your room, David?
high you can go. Luke, how high can you go? Okay, uh, is this what the... Yeah, the, we are glad that we have that on the buy here. This is the, what well-dressed women in Saudi Arabia are wearing these days, right? It's great if you're wearing a pair of shorts or a short dress and you want to cover it up. <laughs> Lots of women wear shorts at the beach. Artists, you really arrived now. She's got her own abaya, you call it, right? but it's not just here, it's in the States too. And my eyes start burning and right up here I get, or they turn red, my eyelids are all red and then it eventually it feels just like a sunburn. You're not making any yeah. comment just while Right now talking. I can, there's a little bit of peeled skin right here. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're now at the Bobbles at home. Chemicals in the air. That's what, I I what town are we in right now, Bob? Uh, beg pardon? What town are we in? in Saudi uh, you're between Jubail and Rastanora. <laughs> Jubail, we call it Jubail, our address is Jubail. Bob is located here at a, what, a desalination plant? What is it? Saline Water Conversion Corporation. Right. Say that quickly, four times. <laughs> take, all, take all that water out of the yeah. Arabian Gulf and make it drinkable, right? Today's batch is right on top. <laughs> <laughs> I like why more countries don't do that. It's very expensive. There, there's a, there is a lot of it, including California. There's three in oh, these South Florida. Florida. One, of, one of them is on the island. And uh, Kay, she's a, she's a so kissing good. cousin. She's, <laughs> well, my, nice. she's my second cousin. Yeah. Our, yeah. our fathers were first cousins. And then that makes she, David... She, just, she substitutes for D David. For David. Right. <laughs> we, we found out why actors came and substituting for David. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you heard the name, right? Well, when my, when, at my mother's funeral, Kathy and Dwayne came. And Kathy said, you know, there's a fugly in Saudi Arabia. And I said, oh, I don't believe it, you know. <laughs> she said, yes. And I said, well, send the address. But she never did. So I got back here, and I went to Jabail and signed up for substitute teaching. And the very first day the lady called me, she said, you'll be subbing for David Fugley. And I thought, oh, I just misunderstood, you know. <laughs> but sure enough, I got there, and there was his name on the door, Fugley. So I thought, well, it has to be. But it took a while before you met him after that. Well, he wasn't there, of course, because I was subbing for him, but I went and talked to Rhonda. Oh, you were going to a town and looking for him for Fugley's. Or if you saw the name of the paper, you'd say, what if this is a relative? There, there's so few of them, but it's more, more likely. All Fuglis are related. I evidently saw so. it. If it's spelled F U G L I E or F U G L E I. L E I. We met through this genealogy, we met a branch that spelled it F U G L E I. And they said Fugli, which was the original Norwegian. Kay, what was his room for? Before. Uh, this, is, this is what they call the Saudi room where the men supposedly sit because in Saudi Arabia men are separate always from the women. So the men have their own room and the women have their own room. Carpet. <laughs> Made in cashmere of cashmere silk but it's a Persian design of the area in Iran where Khomeini lived. 
But I don't know the name of the design, that's all I know. About. How many knots per square inch? 350 knots per square inch, which is, makes it a medium priced carpet. The very, very, very expensive ones have 650 per square inch. That's way out of my budget. <laughs> I priced that down in the, um, where was that, in the rec club, R Rhonda? Oh, at the Holiday Inn. That's Holiday Inn, that's, that's where it was. Mm -hmm. So I know what they cost. They're not, Yeah. you don't buy. British neighbor, she's been here for years, and she just, she says she could just kick herself for not buying these years ago. They were just dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. But now, of course, the price has gone up. Since the only thing is now a lot of ours are red. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, hard to do. A lot of them here are that wine, yeah. wine well, color. I have red. one wine that I really like. And then the, the color, you know, steam is not, not really that. It's kind of good for the, the pink and... Uh, well, what uh, institute of founders of this? Mm. Research project. So they contract that themselves. That's what they do. Here's an aftershock. <laughs> I want to always look at the Grand Cayman. It's all here. It's the Grand Cayman. Wait, there it is. There's Grand Cayman. That's where I want to go. I want to go to Hawaii. Let's go to Hawaii. Go to say, Bob, what do they use this room for? When you see, this is a, this was a Saudi, multiple wife home, right? Before? Yes. Uh, this is kind of a grand entryway. You know. And divides the house. Kitchen you know, on the one side, and the bedrooms on the opposite side. And where does that that that's the grand entry in through there? Uh, behind you. The behind front, us. Yeah, the front door is perfectly behind. You. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, nice. Yeah. How many bedrooms in this house? Five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Oh. And we only huge. Use only, I only use one bedroom, one bathroom. <laughs> Bob says, don't use those bathrooms. Then I have to just clean them. Just you. <laughs> I know, that's what really some, makes me sick that we have Do you have some help to clean it? Do you have some help to clean the house? So much room, and then we can't have anybody come and visit, you know. Yeah, that's really a bummer. Yeah. So you can't, or is it? Oh, I mean, like you safe. having them, I mean, we yeah. can't. Yeah. No, just an ordinary tourist can't come here. They have to be related. There is no tourism. No. Oh, is this the oh, 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 Just a little hole in all, not far from the shark. There's some Christmas presents already at the Colson residence. And Danae and his what, what did the Olsons give you? Oh my goodness. Can I help you a minute? Danae? An aeroplane. I know it's going to drive you crazy, but. What's that? What is that noise? Does it stop? Oh. She had um, that Mary Ellen. She had a new design for this year, and I think she had a, a few in a collection that she was selling from probably left over yeah. from last year. Well, I did, and then I ended up. I'll just show you one of our. I missed their front hanging. Where's where's the the where's no, they're Pakistani, they're right? They're Pakistani, right? Well, well anyway, they're, they're very, very. very no. oh. Actually, they're <gasps> Oh, I like these. Oh, oh they are I so. Oh, that. thank you. I think they're so pretty. You see that? Oh. From Pakistan or is it India? What are there? Where are they? Oh, it's India, not Pakistan. Oh, it's me. Hey, Danae. Danae and Luke, we've got some new things on this tree. Thank you so much. So I called Dixie. I don't think she. Today. Is the Marmon said Bell Run mail still go on Tuesdays? Well, we. Mm -hmm. you want to know what we're having for dinner? Yeah. yeah, we're now at David and Rhonda's house. We're having having a little bit dinner party tonight. And Rhonda, what what are we having? Burmese, Burmese shrimp curry. We're having a Chinese dish called chicken almond ding, and we're having an Indonesian dish salad called gado gado. It has peanut sauce. Vegetables. Mm. This is this is uh, very flavorful, isn't yeah. it? We're all very good. <laughs> Everything is good. Mm. We were traveling this summer with Gado Gado. You know, it's one of those things on the list that you always knew that, oh, that's good, I'll get that. Mm -hmm. You weren't sure? Mm -hmm. Being here in Saudi Arabia, we we don't have any uh, forbidden beverage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no, looks pretty meal. <laughs> David, why don't you introduce your guests? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
This is Oli, Oli Olson. This is his wife, Lena. Lena. No. <laughs> It's their first time, it's their first time eating Chinese food, you know. <laughs> Up till now, they thought only communists ate rice. Right. <laughs> this is a Scandinavian night, I think. Isn't yeah, it? Michael's from Michigan, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and his wife Lynn. And I just checked Blake in the bedroom, and he's just sleeping so soundly. Armin is also a Norwegian. No, I can't stop in Arson. No. Well, Armin, he comes from uh, North Dakota originally. His name is, his name is Armin Spangsrud. Soon to be in Missoula, Montana. Mm -hmm. Home had a little Norwegian power to that town. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows lots of only in the <laughs> Here's one foot. Full-blooded Norwegian, and I got the camera. Hey, we got two. Yes, two right. full-blooded Norsemen. We know what little bit the left side is, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing it, and they like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a Christmas card today, Armin, from a, a friend in Michigan, and she had her husband was in Missoula, Montana, taking courses. Yeah. And she, they vacationed in Montana a number of times, and she said, "Don't be surprised if someday our mailing address is." Montana, oh, they no. fall in love with your state. So, mm -hmm. to uh, the side. I think art of mine is great. Right yeah. yeah, corporate training they call it. Mm -hmm. oh, it certainly did. is nice to be with you. Hey, welcome. Lisa Marie Badoon. Yeah, I, I, I swear <laughs> to the kitchen. Right? Right? You're of a name. Yeah. I'll go home and. How do I? But I, what I need to know is I don't know how to help Chris and them. I'll just tell Chris to meet us at the hospital entrance too. But what about Panzer B3? What's that got to do with anything? That's just an area in the city. Yeah, we're near where we're to find out. Is that on the table? Right, that won't be on there. But anyway, there's a lot.